Hello there. You just caught me planning my week. Um, sorry. Welcome to a weekly plan with me back on Ganchi Plans. Um, I started doing just the very beginning of my weekly planning and almost, almost like all of it, um, I pulled this out and I was like gonna sit down and watch TV and do my weekly planning but I'm like, oh, I was supposed to film a video. So that's what we're doing today, a weekly plan with me video. Um, we're in my Chic Sparrow pocket outlander uh, as we have been for a little while now. I do not remember where I got this little thing I'm using as a straight edge. It's supposed to be one of those that you put like under a blank page to um, to like you make a grid so that you can write on it I think. But uh, if that makes sense I don't think I just explained that well. But it's plastic and it fits in the back pocket so I use it as a straight edge. Uh, I'm not doing a great job with these lines today. Really, really not. Ugh. Because I don't have the best angle sometimes when I'm filming. It's all your fault. I'm blaming you. Today, uh, I'm... Okay, so behind the scenes stuff. I'm going really to count these boxes real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That look right? One, two, three. Yeah, I think that's right. All right, so uh, I was gonna film this yesterday, uh, which was Monday. Sorry, the behind the scenes part is that yesterday was Monday, and I was going to film this video um, on Monday, and I was like, okay, you plan your week on a Monday morning. That's not a big deal, right? I'll just do that first. Um, I was explaining in some recent videos that I sort of take, I've been taking a day off every other week to just sort of use up some PTO and to get channel stuff done, using that as an excuse to sit down and actually focus like meaningful hours on what I'm doing. Um, and so I had Monday off and I was gonna, um, yeah, like I said, film the weekly plan with me, but as uh, so I've already mentioned, that was yesterday. Today is not Monday. I'm filming this on Tuesday, which is like a little bit of the wrong day to be planning your week. It's kind of behind everything. Uh, today's the 20th. Oh gosh, of course, just the 20th is missing here. I don't know how I managed to get this messy by the end of this. I have a second set of dates. Uh, I think I have another sheet of these. So at some point I'm just going to give up. I don't know. I kind of want to throw them away because what if I just need the 19 but not the 20 someday and then I'll have it. Um, more often I come up with creative ways to use up little bits and pieces. Like that one week when I only had dates for date stickers for Monday through Friday and then I just didn't use them on the weekend. I was saying I had yesterday off. I was going to take kids numbers two and three to their doctor appointment um and I forgot that kid number one didn't have school that day but she was going to be with the babysitter anyway it was fine but then they got sick so I um wasn't able to take her to the sitter I wasn't able to take anybody to the sitter and just had not as much time to get stuff done so I decided to prioritize um dating. I'm still working on dating inserts, which is the live stream from last week. So, no, the week before. So if you haven't seen that yet, oh, that does not fit. That really doesn't fit very well. Um, if you didn't see that live stream, you can check the link in the corner if I remember to link it there or just go to my channel. Um, I was doing some live insert dating, uh, which means, you know, putting 2023 dates. So it's Wednesday. Wednesday the 22nd. Um, you can check that video out and watch the whole thing. I was there for like an hour and a half. Um, wasn't, did not finish. And that really doesn't fit very well. Didn't finish that day, so I was doing some more of it today. I'm trying, I think I might be able to get everything out and done before the newsletter goes out, which is like what I use as my deadline for new inserts for the month. It's like I want to tell you about what I did that month 
in new designs in the newsletter, which goes out on the last Tuesday of the month. And if you're not subscribed to my newsletter uh, by email, you can go to GenjiPlans.com and there is a form at the very bottom of the page um, to sign up for that so that you never miss anything just in case you don't follow me on every single platform. It's all in one place, just the highlights are there. So I'm doing my best to get all of the 2023 dates on to all the dated inserts that I've done, so that's what I'm working on. And what I did yesterday, so I decided to just spend my lunch break today, Tuesday, filming videos, but that means that I've been kind of working off different things. I was, yesterday had sort of a, I had this timeline that didn't end up getting used, but I had a couple of things on it and I mostly just didn't work off a to-do list too much. Today, I actually have, I'm gonna do like a reel about this, but I've been just printing out like a half letter insert for one-off things like this, like a daily that I wanna have a printable daily. Um, I just use the half letter, I fold it in half, so you can use it twice. Um, and then I just have this on the desk next to me instead of making something if I don't feel like making something in my planner This way I don't have to do any cutting. It's convenient. So that's what I'm doing today For my daily and, and I have a to-do list on there But um, yeah, so Let's do I like having a, a weekly that's just sort of a couple of highlights a couple of things that need to get done But mostly just events. I feel like I have a better idea of what's going on in my world if uh, it's that way. So I am going to start by over here. You hear my voice getting weird. I'm leaning over to my computer to look at the uh, weekly newsletter from the school that has the events. There's no school on, on this day, which there wasn't school anyway. And then it was the sick day, so I can actually put some stuff about that. Then there's going to be Couple. I've been using these ones when I do have the teal for school events. Hopefully we will be healthy and be able to make it to an event that's on Thursday night. I think I'm going to want some of these little faces um, for, you know, canceled plans and things. I think I might, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe not that, but let's see, I think I can use one of these. Probably shouldn't just be pulling these out willy nilly. I've been using one of these a lot. Off camera. All right, let's let's go. Oh, hey, look at that! I knew I had a no school sticker, and I would not have found it. This is just like a. So I had stickers from a shop called Plan With Anna, and so it was like a pocket size, and so I just removed like the um, the sticker part and just had the back of it, and so I was using that as like a sticker keeper. So there we go. There's a no school sticker that I was gonna use and then didn't use. So that's gonna go here. No school. Um, maybe I should. Uh, I don't know. New school, and then I'm also gonna put a sick day thingy. So that's that's definitely this one here. Let's do a little bit of a highlight. And then, unrelated to that, it was actually Well Baby Visits. Unfortunately, the other two did not have fevers. But I've got a little doctor sticker. It's fun doing stickers, right? You don't always, but sometimes. I use stickers in here, I do. Um, blue. Let's use dark blue. It was about as good as it could have been. I 
was multitasking. I had two kids with two appointments back to back, so they were able to do both of them at once, which is good. Um, it was just me there with two kids, and they both needed shots. My poor little September baby, even um, at two years, it's not scheduled to get any shots, but she was born right after flu shot season. Excuse me, I'm stepping over my desk here to grab. Sorry about the audio, that was weird. She was born right after the flu shot it was released, and so she always will end up needing a shot, no matter which appointment she goes to, unfortunately. Uh, but she also needed blood work. They do a lead screening at one and two years, which is like, man, how do you do that to a baby? And like, they don't have um, any like specific pediatric phlebotomists. It's just whoever is there and you just kind of get randomly assigned to the next person who's available. They're, they're all cross-trained in, you know, that, but some are better than others. And I, I want to say it was, yeah, her one-year appointment that um, it was a guy. I'm not saying that, you know, male medical workers are all callous or whatever, but this one just didn't have quite the bedside manner. Um, plus, you know, a one-year-old doesn't know what's going on. It, it was not, it was not fun. So I was not looking forward to it, but she actually did amazing. Like, obviously she cried, but like, she did so good, and it was one stick, one, you know, just once, it was fine. Alright, so, we're off school today. Also, I'm going to put a little wiggly line down here. And in case she needs to take another day off school, I will not put the arrow yet, so I can continue the wiggly line down. Um... But I sure hope that she will be well enough by Thursday to go to school. So we have a thing uh, in the evening. But that's, I just kind of like overlapping things, even though it's not an overnight event. I just it's, so it's um, readathon this week and next week. So there's something called Family Literacy Night, which I'm spelling correctly. It's just sort of like a fun little event at the school. Um, so that is going to be after work. Head straight there. Um, okay, we'll see. So this was PJ Day, um, but she's not at school. Then it's Stuffed Animal Day. It's like one of those spirit week things where you do different, whatever. Um, oh, you know what? Okay, so I'm going to put, there we go. I'm going to put PJ Day because I'm going to pretend that I wrote, that I planned before the week started. <laughs> um, so it's like a camping theme. Stuffy tomorrow and then on Friday is supposed to be flannel. Oh man, that's gonna look terrible. I hope this is in frame. Um, because obviously, like, flannel shirts are plaid, right? And uniform skirts are plaid. And they're not the same plaid. Oh, it's gonna look so bad. It's gonna be hilarious. Alright, um, an envision screening. And I think, oh, here, I have it right here. I actually have a classes sticker. I, uh, I don't actually know if she is getting a vision screening or not. I don't know. It looks like when I looked at the schedule from the state, that it's like, where are they? Um, that maybe it only happens in kindergarten, or maybe it happens in TK. I don't know, but I have a sticker that will work for that. And it's not like it matters. It's like happening at school. But I live vicariously through my child. Um, and again, I'll just sort of tuck that down here. She got a vision screening at her appointment too, uh, like her doctor's appointment when she turned four, and it was fine. She passed, and she was able to identify some of the letters, which was pretty impressive. I think I have a genius. Um. 
Yeah, so I was going to put like a little book flag here we go, for readathon. Um, it starts, just put it here, so it starts today on Tuesday. And I'll just sort of write, maybe I'll use a colored pen. official stylization so we have to do pledge links and stuff like that and get people to donate um, okay I'll put away some these stickers it's mostly it and then I have a birthday party this weekend to go to so I'm gonna grab here for that I actually should look at my monthly as well kind of blue Saturday evening, I think. So generally have been doing um, the actual like times of things. I'll put stuff on my Google calendar um, and then in my planner it'll just be like you know sort of generally in the evening as you see. like this all right and then the actual time of it will be in my calendar you know I'll just go oh yeah that's this evening and then it's in my phone you know um I think that might be it oh yes I'm saying I have to actually look at my monthly here for a change September all right I have some things on a to-do list how about that pen again and just make myself the desk is a mess I have a light blue oh yep yeah. this one that I used here I'm gonna put here I have not been making like to-do lists um, on my weekly I've been kind of doing it in my in a separate insert, but there's a couple things that I'd like to get done this week, and this is the quickest way to add them. All right, so let me just make a little checkbox row. Some of these blues and teals don't really go together that well, and we're going to decide that these are imperfect on purpose. But it's a stylistic choice. So, where are we? September. Um, yeah. So, dishwasher cleaner in the. That's it. Uh, let's see, read it on. In the way tonight. Oh, that's it. Here's birthday party. Yep. Okay, I have other things to do, obviously. Um, pledge link. Like I said, we have to send that out to get donations. No, you can't donate. I don't want to tell you where my daughter goes to school. Um, you can buy my inserts if you want to support me. Uh, pledge link, and then the other thing for school. Oh, yes, order photos. The proofs came in for school photos. So there's going to be other stuff on this list too that I can fill up, but I will do that off camera. Um, we'll be going to mass every Sunday, you know, as you do. So I may as well put it there. As not, not like we're going to forget. But there you go, a little bit blue. Um, I should probably put some sort of sticker down here though. Man, you can't see my desk right now, but it's a mess here. There, I'll show you that photo. It looks, it looks a mess. Uh, okay, let's actually grab something from in here. See if there's anything blue that would look good. Um, oh, there's a bird. It's a blue bird. That'd work. 
Um, that one has a blue border. That one would also work. Okay, there's a few different options here. Nothing is jumping out as being immediately perfect, but several are functional. Um, this is the Happy Planner, what's it called? Don't Stop Growing. It's like a little gardening one. Uh, it's okay to grow slow. That's kind of blue. And it also, I guess, matches what's going on right now. That, like, I just finished the birthday party, which is, like, two crazy weeks of intense prep because before that we were um, getting ready for a camping trip and so yeah, I was looking for something that's maybe more blue and less purple like, but I, I want something to go behind it oh man yeah oh okay so where did I put sorry I'm thinking of what's in my my drawer also. Um, we were camping over Labor Day weekend, which left me, I wanted to make sure that that was, you know, done in time. Okay, I'll put, where you put it? Oh, yeah, it's blue. It's blue, I like it. All right, I'll just use this. Uh, two weeks to plan a birthday party. So it was pretty intense. Um, I was doing a lot, and she also included cleaning the house, so hopefully it shouldn't be too hard to get everything tidied away again after all that, and then I feel like I have a lot of stuff around the house that I would like as small projects to do, like lunch break projects when I'm working from home, that kind of thing, um, but uh, I need to force myself to like slow down and just do one at a time. Um, they don't all have to happen right now and I will have plenty of time to get them done. The next big thing I think, unless I'm forgetting something, um, the next like project to work on is just uh, Halloween costumes and I have a month and a half to get that done. And I think, yeah, my husband's in charge of Agnes's Spider-Man costume, go, uh, Ghost Spider costume, and the baby already has something, so I just have one costume to work on. So that is, that's my week. How does it look? Do you like it? Looking good? Um, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Let me snap a photo. Right now. I was going to get my Instagram photo ready, but I think I need to clear my desk first. Uh, thank you for joining me for this. Um, I am going to be, I mentioned the live video. I think the next live video is going to be in like two more weeks. Um, but in the meantime, next week is going to be the October plan with me because that's also coming up. Um, thanks. I already said thanks. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss anything. Um, subscribe to my email newsletter if that sounds interesting to you. And I'll see you in the next video on Thursday. Have a productive day. Bye everybody. Thank you.